that this is it because I, I can't keep getting worse, can't keep gaining weight. I never want to reach 600 pounds. <laughs> I'm just really, really talking myself out of a binge. I will die if I binge. So that's just where I need to keep putting my brain at. A lot of people say, you know, drink water. Drinking water. It's like, I know I'll be okay if I don't binge, but it's just like, it takes so much out of you. Like, so much energy to not do it. And I know I'll be okay. I'm like rocking back and forth like some freaking crazy person. I swear I'm not. Uh -huh. uh. Mm. Of these Sundays where it's like one last hurrah. I'm pretty sure I did it to last Sunday. Pretty sure I did it the Sunday before that. Um, I just feel like when is that going to stop? When is that going to stop? Um, even though I'm talking to you guys right now and I'm like, I know I shouldn't have a last hurrah. I'm still going to have a last hurrah. I get a lot of hate when I talk about this, but this is the way my mind works. And this is exactly what I'm going to be telling a therapist or a dietitian, nutritionist, whatever I end up seeing. Um, I want to tell them this is what I deal with every day. I am completely a food addict. food will never leave me alone because it's not like I am an alcoholic and I just tell myself okay I'm never going to touch alcohol again because I still have to eat that's how you survive and even if I sit down and I eat something healthy like carrots that's a trigger to me a lot of people ask me what is your trigger food everything lettuce because it's crunchy carrots everything is a trigger food for different reasons it's super annoying I literally could be eating like the healthiest meal in front of me a freaking plain chicken breast and that's a trigger no matter what is put in my mouth no matter what food is put in my mouth it triggers me Ah. Ah. I was like, fine. I was like, oh yeah, I'm just enjoying my day. Like, yeah, I've ate over 6,000 calories, but like, who cares? No. I woke up feeling completely different. Um, that's just exactly what I mean when it comes to like when the binge is possessing me. Oh, who cares? It's not that big of a deal. It's just like 6,000 calories. I'll just get back on it tomorrow. Like, no, that's not really what I'm thinking. That's just what the binge monster is thinking. You managed to gain 80 pounds. It's not working for you. I'm not gonna be the one to write your death certificate. Oh, oh, oh my God. That's insane to me that I'm still like, oh, I'm gonna have one last hurrah. Like, every day is a hurrah for me. Like, I need to, like, shape up. Um, but I just figured this video, I can show you guys everything that I eat today, which is gonna be pretty bad. Um, so that's a warning already. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate, but I do anyways, no matter what. I am here to be honest <laughs> during all of this. This is what I'm here for. I'm not here to make people understand the way I think. I'm not here to make people understand my disorder. I'm not here to make people understand anything. I'm here to just show. I'm here to show you what I am struggling with, usually behind the camera by myself. Um, my thought process for today is I'm just going to eat whatever I want. And 
that's bad because I know tomorrow I'm going to wake up feeling the exact same way. I'm going to have this like numbness slash guilt. I'm going to, my feet are going to hurt. I'm going to be swollen. My hands are going to be swollen. My face is super swollen. Like I'm going to feel these things. But then I'm like, oh, but tomorrow is Monday. It's a new day. It's a good, you know, way to start fresh. It's so my weight today, I've never weighed this much ever. I'm, I don't even want to say it out loud. It's, it's weird. Um, it seems too real when I say it out loud. My weight today was 500.6. So that means I'm up, what, like almost three pounds from yesterday. Um, I only got about four hours of sleep. Normally, I'll drink the milk, but this was just too much. So.